This is just a quick video on a skill 3820 uh, miter saw. And a problem I was having, I finally figured out with uh, getting the blade square to the bed here. Um, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what the hell's going on. <laughs> it was something so stupid in the end, though. So you can see here, it's nice and uh, nice and square to the bed. But as you come a little further back, if you can see that there, you get a nice little gap. Like, what the hell is going on? Square here. After making all the adjustments, but not square. Back in here. So I thought. Oh, maybe it's this bearing. You know, people said something about a bearing. If you have a, if you have wobble and things like that. Well, I got no wobble. It's just, it doesn't change when you rotate the blade. And so I thought maybe it's just aluminum bed here. No, it's not that. Checked all that. It's good. Turns out, it's this little piece of plastic crap here. Is not, it's not as low back here as it is up up here. It actually goes up and be beyond the uh, the height of the bed just barely. And as your stock river rides over that, it's, uh, it's creating that little bit of an angle there. So what you can do is if you take the deal off the back there, fence, and that'll let you get to the screws for this deal here. And you can uh, actually take the screws out and take this out. If you look on the bottom, you can see it's got some raised edges. This is actually the other side, which was okay. But this one, I'm getting the camera. This one's actually quite a bit higher. So it's almost like. Maybe the mold was just slightly off, or I mean, who the heck knows? Maybe this is not a big problem for a lot of units. This is one of the originals, 3820. This is like three, four, or five years ago, or more, whenever they probably first came out, sort of thing. So, anyway, I'm just gonna sand that down, and I bet you that's gonna, it'll get it below that, this lip here, and then that problem's gonna go away. So I'm gonna try that, and we'll come back and check it out. All right, and we're back. So, Took quite a bit more sanding than I thought at this point. See that there? And I had to pretty much sand that entire lip completely off. And I kept sanding and checking and sanding and checking. Excuse my good old Harbor Freight. Orbital there. Something like maybe a belt sander, even like just a sanding block would probably be better, but that's what I had on hand, so whatever. But anyway, um, at this point, put that in place there. I can feel finger that it's it's pretty much right on now. Or before I could you could easily tell it was just above the of the lip there. And in terms of what it looks like, I mean all the way down, it's pretty much the same now. That looks really good. Haven't checked it yet in terms of uh, fixing the squareness of the blade, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna check it right now. Okay, and we're back. And I think we got a winner. So, square back there, square here, and here, and here. I'm pretty much everywhere I can get this guy. I mean, we're looking really good at this point so that was it if anybody else is having that particular problem you've gone through all the calibration settings trying to square things up and it's like it's square in the front but it's not square in the back and you don't have any wobble in your blade check this little uh this plastic guy see if it's um you know sticking up a little higher than maybe the other side just higher at all really it shouldn't be it shouldn't be interfering with this nice machined bed I bet is the right word whatever you call this it's machined flat area here but uh yeah that took care of it for me all right